I wanted to uh, what your daily drivers are. So last we checked, and I know you had a panda at some point. Well, we do have a panda. Okay, yeah. technically Still. Sarah, yeah. it's not mine. Yeah, so yeah. I have a BMW i3. Okay. And you stop stopping there. I'll stop there. And what is your daily driver? Oh, it's a Volkswagen Golf. It's not. It's, it is. It is a grey right. Volkswagen Golf GTI. But GTI, that's, okay. That's when you're not driving your dictator's Mercedes. So what, is there a vehicle you've owned that you wish you still did? BMW 3 liter CSL. Oh, yeah. Bought for £3,000, which is about $5,000. Yeah. And I sold it for about £1,000, which is $1,500. Right. And they're now worth a lot. Yeah. And the other one was an Alfa Romeo GTV 6. Ooh. Which made, yeah. I still maintain that's the nicest noise in the engine, so well, it's funny you should mention that because I, I honestly don't want any of my old cars back. Really? Yeah, because I know they'd be disappointed in there. They excited me. Nothing was ever as exciting as my try and be test that I had when I was in my twenties. Because I was in my twenties and the roof came off. How do you, over all these uh, years, keep ex what keeps you excited about cars? Actually, terrible cars. Yeah. It's always much nicer to write or talk on telly about awful old falling to bits like our cars for our specials and things. I it, agree. It, it, much better material. Yeah, I think. Um, you always hope a car's going to be great, but it doesn't have make, make life easy when it's terrible mm. because it's come to us. Right. It's a rich seam. No, the problem we have at the moment, and I really do have a being bonus about this, is the millennials are not really that interested in cars as a, as a generation. Do you look at the car makers and the Rene Pagels and the Nissan Quash cars and it's, like, it's not surprising. They think it's such rubbish. <laughs> it's just really crap. And you just want to say, you're going to bring about your own demise. Uber will want to make their own car, I guess. Right. Although mm -hmm. self-driving cars will come and the vehicles will go, well, I'll have that because it's cheaper and easier. And right. Why would I own my own car with insurance and fuel and so on and so forth? I find that a bit strange as well because the way manufacturing science has gone, there has never been a better time for making cars interesting, yeah. individuals, exactly. greater variety. It's right. really yeah. perfectly possible the way it was not 20 or 30 years ago. Right. And yet, yes, you get, with a few exceptions, there's a lot of cars going along that are just as dull as refrigerators. They're and those what do they call the crossover, the SUV things? Right, right. Any of them, Hyundai's, Kia's, I hate them. Because yeah. they, you just think, why didn't they buy Golf? Why have you got a you driving this stove pipe hat, why does it need to be so tall? <laughs> why is it going to be so big? I've got a plastic wheel on, so I'm genuinely loathe it. And no child is going to say, Oh, money, can I have a poster of a Renault Cactus? I can put it on the wall. One day I'll drive it, then never going to race it at the mall. Yeah. Never, it's just, <laughs> nobody ever dreams of the day they can have a Renault Cactus. But just, it's, it will come, right. it will exist, it will pollute the world, and it will go away. So to that point, are you going to be reviewing any regular people cars, not just well, we million do. dollar hypercars? We always have this it? reputation on the old show of having right. any stuff to Ferraris and Lamborghinis, but the truth was we spent way more of our time driving $200 sedans across Africa than we did in Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Right. Well, some of my it's favorite reviews of yours were of the regular cars from like Series 6 and, you know. No, we're not. We'll never review it. If, if a car is boring, we simply won't review it. But, but. Right. Yeah, because there isn't time. I mean, we're not really a consumer operation. That's right. very well served by lots of other things, I mean, right. especially now. So we're, we're celebrating the fact that we still find cars interesting and exciting. So otherwise it would be like a food program doing a thing about ordering a pizza. What we, They wouldn't do that, so we're not going to drive the Renault. So the follow-up, so is there anything you can do now on Grand Tour that you couldn't do on Top Gear? Honestly, no. Not really. Okay. The budget's about the same. Okay. A lot of people are saying it's a oh, thousand, million, billion pounds a minute. It isn't. It's about the same as it was on Top Gear. And um, the BBC doesn't say what we want to. And, right. And it's sort of the same. So. Uh, shifting gears, let's talk about autonomous cars for a moment. Mm. You know, I just d drove a brilliant Aston Martin. I'd love to push a button and have it drive me home after I'm yes. tired of driving. That's how you it see. Be. You, yeah, you see that as I had a go a happy Audi, yeah. the, the uh, autonomous Audi project, which they had going around the racetrack. And, yeah. so on. and their view is exactly that: that you should be able to drive it as a car when you want to. In fact, yeah, it's right. already it's already perfectly possible. Oh, my, my Golf GTI drives itself. Yeah, they it do. steers down the motorway. It reads where the white lines are. It reads where the car in front is. If that slows down, I slow down. If it speeds up. Yeah, the, 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 the already does that. And then suddenly it goes, 
take control of the steering. So yes. he stopped steering and stopped. Oh, shit, I'll send you a text. Oh, that's, a, that's a legislation thing, though. Technically, cars can drive themselves already. Right. We had those mass things yesterday. We were up in the desert. Yeah. And there was a helicopter to bring us to Los Angeles last night. And both James and I looked at our mass and went, but is it, think about it, if you went to most people in the world who are vaguely interested in cars, or you don't even think you're that interested in cars, but you say you can drive out of the high desert and into LA in a modified Mustang, yeah, you would. Yeah. It's fantastic. It was, yeah. So we got an helicopter for the entire